They play action roll wide open. Marcel Reese. Touchdown! Raiders! What a play that was. Beautifully designed and expertly executed. As Gradkowski faked the handoff, pulled it out, rolled right, and the fullback in the right flat was completely the lonesome end there for a Raider touchdown. Welcome back to the Raiders Report. I'm JT. It was great to see Marcel Reese score his first touchdown in the NFL. With all the players we profiled at Silver and Black Productions, Marcel has one of the most unique stories as an undrafted free agent to a player that changed positions. He's got one of the better stories you'll ever hear. Our own Jeanette Thompson recently sat down with number 45. Marcel, your story is a little different from other players who enter the NFL. Tell us a little bit about the history of Marcel. How did he get to the Raiders? Everybody knows I was, I was born and raised in Inglewood, California. Um, I was a basketball player my entire life. My mom was always afraid that my brothers and I would get hurt playing football, so she never let us play until my junior year in high school. My first time, my twin brother and I putting on pads and, and uh, kind of sneaking around looking at other people put their pads in their pants and, and trying to figure out how we do it. But once we put those pants on and put the pads on, you know, the rest is history. Was there ever a time when you had to decide between basketball and football, and was it hard to pick one of the two? Well, that was probably one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. And it wasn't a sense where I made a decision where, you know what, I'm giving up basketball and it's football. Um, it was the main reason why I went to junior college, because no school really wanted to take me and let me play both sports. Did you play running back in high school or a different position? <laughs> no. To be honest, with you, I never played running back until I, got, I came here to the Raiders. I hadn't been in the three-point stands. I hadn't done anything, you know, so that was, kind of, that, was, that was a big difference for me. You know, I was out there playing a wide receiver, just running and catching the ball and, and trying to score touchdowns. So that's the way my entire football career has been until I came here to the Raiders. Well, were you disappointed when you got to the Raiders and they told you you weren't going to play wide receiver? Not so much disappointed because when I came in as a rookie, it was kind of a thing where I was going to move around a lot and there wasn't a definite position for me. So I was more so confused than disappointed. And then when it was set where they said that you're going to play fullback slash H-back position, then, you know, it took a while to get used to, but, you know, ended up embracing it and taking it on. It can be scary to be a wide receiver knowing everybody's coming after you after that catch. But now to be the person to make the way through a wall of defenders, did that ever become kind of scary for you? I wouldn't say scared. I was just a little concerned about how to do it. You know, I, I knew that I'm willing to do it and, and I, I know I can do it. I put my mind to it. It was just how to. It was just about learning the position, you know. How am I going to learn it? Who's going to teach me? Coach Skip has helped me a lot. Coach Kale has helped me a lot. A lot of veterans helped me out a lot with just just the game of football in the trenches like that. And in trenches, I mean just in a three-point stand, O-line, D-line, fullback, you know, linebackers just learning how to play uh, that type of football. Right now, you are the starting fullback and lead blocker for the third leading rusher in the league. <laughs> Do you ever stop and think about, that's, that's my job, that's, that's what I do? I never really think about it like that, you know, because to be honest with you, Michael Bush and Darren McFadden are awesome running backs. I look at it as being a blessing to be able to run in front of them. We have that chemistry where I try to make them look good and they make me look great. I'm proud of Darren right now because he's running hard and he's just showing the world what he can do. Now, you're a West Coast guy. All day. So you knew about the Raiders from, I'm assuming, from childhood to adulthood. Right. Is it a dream come true to play for the Oakland Raiders? My dad was a big Cowboys guy. I'm not saying I was, I wasn't. You know, I, I used to like the Vikings as a kid. I used to like Randy Moss and Chris Carter, see them run up and down the field. But, you know, everybody loved the Raiders around me. <laughs> and now that I'm in the league, I realize that every man that plays football has a dream of knowing what it's like to put on that silver helmet. Every man, hands down, I don't care what they say, if they, they say they don't, they're lying to you. Every man wants to put it on for one day. And I'm, you know, I'm blessed to, to have it right now. 
You know, Marcel makes the point that over his career, and a lot of players have told us, their ultimate goal as a football player was to someday wear the silver and black. And a lot of that has to do with the players who came before them. And this could be one of the all-time greats, one of my favorites. 